Wilcox Christie. Uh, as many of you already know me and my wife, Michaela, uh, I'm going to, to, I've been a member of Cox Christie for about the last couple of years, and I was assigned there by uh, the bishop uh, because of, I was in my last two years of ordination. So what's happening now is this Saturday, I become a deacon, and I am still assigned to Pox Christi. Uh, hopefully you're happy with that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Father Pat is wonderful. He's helped me. Melissa has been very good about helping me and us uh, get settled in. Uh, we've had a lot of you, but there's a lot of you that haven't. So we decided to do this video just to give you a little bit of my background on that. Um, I've been doing... Uh, as far as leading this, it's been five year process journey to become a deacon in that. Although I started about 20 years ago with a desire, it just took time because you know how life goes. Life gets in the way of some of your desires and that, and mine did. Uh, I'm a retired Air Force officer. Uh, then I became a contractor because I loved the Air Force. I retired in 1998. And then in 2006, I came to Kentucky. I was born here uh, 65 years ago, and I really had not been here much since then. I grew up in Indiana, and then I joined the Air Force, spent 20 years there, eight years as a contractor, six of it in Korea. My wife, Michaela, she is Korean. I met her there. I became a Catholic there. I, my children were all baptized and everything in the small Korean church, Our Lady of Faith at Osan Air Base. And then in 2006, we picked up everything and moved to Frankfort, Kentucky. I started teaching junior ROTC. To me, that was great. I got to put back on the uniform and teach high school students about the military, about the Air Force, about how to be a good citizen. Five years ago, like I said, I got into the program to become a deacon, which basically extends what I want to do with my life. I want to work with young people. I want to work with uh, young adults. I also want to work with the elderly people in that, which I'm becoming part of as we speak. And uh, so that kind of gives you a little background. As far as my family, I've got five children. Uh, the oldest two live in uh, Louisiana and Florida. My other three, the youngest three, they live in uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. They all live in the same apartment, and uh, they still, even though they're in their 20s and that, they still enjoy each other, and they actually even work for the same company, Starbucks. Um, since my, uh, I'm also going to be retiring from teaching in uh, 1 July, so that's going to free me up so that I'll be able to focus on being a deacon for the diocese, for Pax Christi, and for God's people there within Pax Christi. And that. Uh, that's my focus, is for the next, whatever time that I'm given, is to work with the diocese and hopefully there Pax Christi to do whatever is needed for the church and the people. 